throw or not to throw. I'm talking about the entry side arm. The left arm for the righties, the right arm for the lefties. So the question is, do we throw it hard? Do we open it much? Do we keep it back? What's the real answer? Man, come on. Find out in this video, check it out. It's Eric Johnson and in today's YouTube video what we're going to discuss is opening the left arm into the throw the correct way. We will talk about the window. Knock knock. So in today's video, what we're gonna discuss, we mentioned that we're gonna be talking about the entry arm, right? So for the majority of throwers are right-handed, but we're gonna, we're gonna refer to it in terms of the entry arm, balance arm, okay? So one of the key things is, what do we do? When we're in the discus, where does that arm open up? So if we look at somebody like Daniel Stahl, or let's take a peek at Reggie Jagers of the US, let's look at Frederick Dakers. I thought it was Dockers, somebody said Dakers. I don't know, he's a stud, okay? So so we can agree on that. So in this video, again, we wanna talk about how the position of left arm. Now, one of the key things is you've gotta remember is that it's designed to generate momentum and it's designed to create a counterbalance. So the longer it is, and in the discus and in the shot put, they're different. So people that are coaching the same, that's something we just don't agree with. Implement sitting on top of me, heavier object, smaller circle. How can the technique be the same? So you would either be eating up too much circle in the shot put, or you would be utilizing too little circle in the discus. So that for mechanical reasons, implement and everything else, proximity to the body, they can't be the same. So what in this video, what we're gonna talk about is the path of the left arm in the discus. Now this is something I said a while back that I was gonna be updating. So I've had a few people <laughs> that we've had some debates with and that I think I agree with them more than I disagree. So here Here's what we're going to do when we when we set up our throw and we're working here we like to teach how the arm is going to be opening and it's going to be moving aggressively now one of the things is we talk about the path of that arm that path has to be long so that it's pulling me into the throw so here's an example that if i open it too much you can see it does assist in rotation and that's part of its function but there's a point of if I spin in place, I'm not creating my linear motion across the circle. So one of the things that we wanna make sure that we're doing is we understand that that path is moving aggressively out open and it's pulling the thrower in. I think one of the best examples of that currently in the world is Daniel Stahl. Daniel Stahl, a few weeks back, had a monster series in Doha where the shortest throw was 69 meters 50. Huge, huge throws, great series, and the average of the series was 70 meters. So we're averaging about 230 feet for the entire six throws. Huge, huge, huge. One of the things is, and what makes him so dynamic is he's big, he's fast, he's strong, and he's technically just fun to watch. So watch the left arm. Stall, what he does is you see him, as he comes here, the left arm is really reaching long, and as he comes this way, what gives is an appearance of the connection, and that's because of the long entry path so the arm is reaching here, it's moving, and you'll see Stahl pulling into the circle. He does that extremely well. So one of the things you'll see is, as we look at Stahl, what's so great about that arm is that it's opening. So as he goes long, and again, in our system, we refer to our pillar one, our pillar two, and then as he comes in here, and he's keeping everything level, you're gonna see him pulling in. Once he's facing six o'clock, you'll notice the connection of the balance arm and the sweep leg, the direction it's facing three. You'll see stall that he doesn't have a big rewrap, but you'll notice the position of his shoulders. He's starting to create separation. And you'll notice that once we get to the middle of the throw, pillar four, where we're transitioning from the left leg to the right, you're gonna start to see how the lower body is very stacked and very much moving ahead of the upper body. But then what Stahl does extremely well at that point is he comes down, he's gonna get that heel, everything comes around, and you're gonna see that hip driving into the thing, and you see that incredible separation. If you haven't checked out our video on separation, check that one out now. What we talk about, and one of the trickiest things in our system, we teach that there's a window. So if we get too, too much throw, or if we're just here trying to throw, or if we're holding too far back, 
that's not positive either because if you'll notice if i'm sitting here and i hold the arm it's going to make me move into the throw but you're going to notice watch the difference i'm going to do everything the same speed you're going to see me kind of slow now watch me open the arm see how much faster and easier it is for me to rotate so two two rotational over rotation under rotation what do we need we need to find the sweet spot and understanding how that left arm is a very huge part of that movement which we refer to as our pillar three dropping in and applying speed and your left arm is a huge component to do that correctly so for you throwers out there that are watching be careful not to keep your arm back too much and be careful not to open your arm too much what you want to find is that sweet spot that's going to be leading to that ideal position so that the lower body and everything's moving ahead. So again, Peter Melichowski of Poland, Robert Harding of Germany. So if we look at Peter Melichowski and Robert Harding, what we're gonna see is look at them on their windups, different but similar, and we have a video coming up on style versus mechanics, so stay tuned for that. So you're gonna see how they come out. So they come out and they go to their pillar two and they're both moving around and look at the path of the left arm. When you're looking, one of the key variables that I look at is when they're both, when they're all facing six o'clock and they're on their entry so when they're in this position you're gonna notice where the left arm is what you'll see with a lot of young throwers that left arm opens a little too much and it's coming out of the window and the window again we refer to a lot in our system of how do we hit those key spots in each pillar we have a window of execution and we want to stay in that so now if you look at Guzdias and uh, Stahl very similar techniques in fact they both look very similar but look at the positions and look at the position of the left arm and that left arm is that's what sets up a big monster pillar three so at any rate hopefully this gives you a little insight into how that works we don't want to be too open we don't want to be too back we want to find that spot where we're feeling this type of emotion and you're going to see how you're going to do that you're going to notice that with all your top throwers all these guys that are throwing massive distances and very consistently hitting those distances you're going to see that type of movement pattern and that's the key to understand because it's about balance and creating speed and power and balance and acceleration into the middle of the ring so as we refer to as pillar one to three and then four, five, six is going to be very dynamic. And that's what you want for those big throws. Okay, so hopefully you like today's video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share it. Comment below with any comments, questions you have regarding things you would like to see on upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. Thanks so much for watching.